There are two things that are true, and they're true simultaneously. The first is that life is amazing. It's beautiful. It draws us into a sense of inspiration and aspiration and wonder. You know, we think of watching a sunrise or a sunset, of being caressed by a loved one, of watching flowers as they bloom, and with the joy of a child playing with bubbles. All kinds of things speak to the wonder and beauty of life. At the same time, life is difficult, it's tragic, it's painful. Life can be very hard for us. We each experience personal tragedies through disappointments and loss, the death of loved ones from sickness, through financial insecurities. And, and there are larger issues that impact us and cause us suffering. Wars and hunger and you know, the, the ravages that happen because of systemic oppression. So both things are true, that life is beautiful, it's amazing, and life is difficult and harsh. It's hard for us to live with these two things. But today I want to talk about how we move forward in life ways in which we can embrace these contradictions about life. And as I do, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you're notified of future videos. You know, it's difficult for people to hold ambiguity, the contradiction that life is both beautiful and good and difficult and hard together in one moment. We would much rather be at one pole or the other but yet both are true simultaneously. You know, one of the problems with religion and spirituality is that depending on our beliefs, we've either moved from one pole to the other. For instance, for generations, Christianity has focused on the negative, that life is difficult and hard, to embrace your cross, to offer up your sufferings, that life is a veil of tears, and many spiritual sounding people today talk about an opposite polarity that, you know, we should build up ourselves with our spiritual practice to insulate ourselves from life's difficulty. That we should create a sense of peace that's our own comfort zone, that nothing should disturb. And some will go further to suggest that if we think in the right ways, we'll only draw positive aspects of life towards ourselves and keep away the negative. Well, that sounds like magical thinking to me. Because the nature of life is such that it's both beautiful and wonderful, and it's difficult and challenging. Both things are true. So how can we move forward recognizing this fundamental contradiction about life's goodness and the harshness of life, embracing those two aspects of life and leading a healthy life and a healthy spirituality. So I want to talk about four ways that we can do that. And I'm going to draw in broad terms on numerous spiritual traditions. And the first thing I want to talk about is something directly from Buddhism. And that's the idea that the world is full of sorrow. The first noble truth in Buddhism is that the world is full of sorrow. Siddhartha, the Buddha, grew up in a palace where his father tried to protect him from anything difficult in life. It was a privileged life, but Siddhartha got out and saw the suffering in the world and came to recognize that the world is full of suffering. And it is. There is suffering around the world. We know right now that people in Ukraine and in Syria and South Sudan are living very difficult lives. The world is full of suffering. But at the same time, suffering isn't the final word. The second thing that we know, the second way that we embrace life's contradictions is to recognize a truth that's taken from just about every spiritual tradition. It's found in Buddhism and Christianity and nature-based religions like paganism and indigenous uh, spiritualities. And that's that nothing lasts forever. 
Everything is changing. Nothing stays constant. Our, the wonder we experience in life and the difficulty we experience in life, neither of them last forever. Things are always changing. Yes, the sun rises and the sun sets. There's daytime and there's nighttime. We experienced four seasons throughout the year, marking changes. Change is built into the fabric of life. And it's because of that change that we understand that nothing lasts forever. So that beauty and love we experience with another, that will be in a moment. And the person will move on to do whatever else they need to do in their day. And that experience of loss and grief that we have at the death of a loved one, yes, it's painful, but the day will come when we have reorganized our life and carry on without that person being with us in our life. Everything changes. And so recognizing that everything changes, I think the fourth way of embracing life's contradiction it's often stated as a blessing, and it comes from Judaism, it comes from the Celtic tradition, it comes from other places. And that blessing is, may you experience enough happiness to balance the sorrow in life. You see, this blessing recognizes that there's both happiness and sorrow, that there's goodness and joy and pain and suffering, and that the hope is that the positive aspects of life will balance those negative aspects of life, those difficult aspects of life. But you know, when we think about it, that's built into life. And the issue is how we live our life, how we choose to embrace life. And that has to do with the fourth way of embracing life's contradictions. That if we live in the present moment, if we're mindful, then even in life's difficulties, we'll still find moments of beauty. Even when we're in grief, even when we experience hardship, we can still appreciate the beauty of a sunrise. We can still experience the friendship that supports us. We can still experience wonder. Both of these elements of life are true. So for us, it's important to embrace them, to recognize them, and to find ways to be sure that the experiences that we have of life good, life's goodness and wonder balance out and are more than the suffering and pain we experience. That's what we can do, and we do that by living in the present moment, by appreciating the wonder that happens around us. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, make some comments, share this video with other people, and know that I really appreciate the time you spend on spirituality beyond borders. Have a great day.